In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul of the Celtic Orthodox Church. And this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 7, verses 12 through to 21. Therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and there are many who go in by it. Because the narrow is gate is difficult, is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. Beware of false prophets, for come who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. You know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a, tree, a bad tree bears bad fruit. And a good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Therefore, by their fruits, you will know them. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. But he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your word and teachings, that we can be true followers of yours. There, are, there is much in this reading from St. Matthew today. The very first verse that I read, verse 12, I guess you could almost call it the golden rule. Therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. You may have heard, do unto others as you wish them to do to you. There are many variations of this. How you want to be treated is the same way you treat other people. Never forget that one. And then we go on talking about a narrow gate. How many people like the easy way? Yes. How many people like the easy way instead of the, the difficult way? Going through a, near, di a narrow gate is difficult without hitting the sides. It's much easier to go through a wide gate with plenty of room. But also, too, you can get lost, get confused. So Jesus says to us, Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way which that leads to destruction. And there are many who go by it. Because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life. And there are few who find it. Few people want to try it, go through the narrow gate. It's a much direct, easier. But they don't think so. To be a good Christian is not easy. To be a good Christian is to go through the narrow gate. 
You are restricted in what you can do. In the wide gates, you can go do whatever you want to do. It's like being a part of the world. You just do what you want. Whatever makes you happy, do it. But then also, too, that can lead, to, as Jesus said here in this reading, it can lead to destruction. Following Christ is not easy. You recall many a times he's told us that we have to take up our cross every day. Carrying your cross is not easy. But it's difficult. Just stop for a moment and think about it. Obeying God's rules, laws. To love your neighbour. Yes. Someone who really rubs you up the wrong way. How easy is it? It's not. But that's what is required of us. And then we go on to read about false prophets. How many false prophets out there? Many. There are good ones and there's bad ones. And as Jesus says here, you'll know them by their fruit. Yes. You will know them by the fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit. But a bad tree bears bad fruit. So in your journey, you come across a person. You come across a church, for instance. Look for the good fruit. If it doesn't bear good fruit, it's not for you. It is not for you. And remember the last verse that I read. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. But he who does the will of my Father in heaven. That is the way. By doing the will of God the Father. Through Jesus Christ. That is the way. In another part of scripture we know that. And Jesus says, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one can go to heaven except by me, by following Jesus Christ. I urge you all to pray. Meditate on this scripture. See where you're going wrong. See why you shouldn't take the wide gate, the narrow gate, the difficult one. The reward will be great. It will be a difficult road, but it will be great at the end. Give God the glory and praise Him every day. And thanking Him every day. For what he has given you. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God. The Father, the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos. Save us. Amen.